Right, so welcome to my review of the Creed 1150 Super Speed Sensomatic Washer Dryer. Um, model number 17331S. Anyway, um, let's take a look at it then. Well, we picked it up. Um, there's a couple of issues with it. One is that it kind of leaks a little bit, only a little bit, but it's been leaking around here in the last wash. Um, I think it tends to leak more when it's um, at a higher water level. So, more than anything else. Though it does seem to do it still when it's on the, uh, any heat stage, uh, you get a little bit of a puddle, but obviously the, I just run the wool cycle, which is a lot more water and it's been a lot worse this time around. So, not sure why it's leaking. Um, nothing you can see underneath as such. We just thought maybe the seal, seal was resealing itself after not being used for that, such a long time, but it's still doing it. Um, it's got another tiny little issue, but nothing to actually, that stops it running. Um, and there was a bit of a, a knock originally, but that's kind of stopped now actually, so. Um, the motor isn't its best either. Um, But it's all fully working, and I can demonstrate it to you today. Uh, not obviously, obviously, it's not going to be demonstrated to its full potential uh, as like a new machine because it's still obviously got these faults. But even so, right, I'll focus on the programs and options at the top here. Right, we've got four option buttons at the side here. None of them are to do with the dryer whatsoever. Half load is uh, half load, it lowers the water level on the wash. It doesn't seem to do it on the rinses though. Rinses seem to be at the same height. You don't need a push in to use the dryer. You can use dryer without half load. Um, crease care is just rinse hold. It's renamed rinse hold. Um, it's quite unusual how that one works. It will basically get to a, uh, the fan spin on either the cottons or the synthetic side and we'll actually just turn off the timer. So the moment that you take out off crease cut, it re-engages the timer immediately and it does its final spin. Um, oddly enough, on the final spin, when it does reach it, it does temporarily drain before actually shutting off the timer. Slow spin will uh, reduce the spin speed from 1150 to uh, about 600 RPM on both the uh, cotton side and the synthetic side. And fast wash will basically, it heats to a reduced temperature and cuts out all the main wash tumbles. So all it does is fill, kind of get it all wet, then it goes to heat to a lower temperature. So at 95, it's at about 60. Uh, 60 is at 50 degrees and 40, it's still at 40, um, oddly enough. And then it goes to advance and does its three rinses and final spin as normal. It doesn't affect it there. We've got a drying time here in minutes, uh, zero to eight to 90-ish minutes. Um, then you've got 10 minute cooldown from here, you can hear in the actual click there, there, that's actually switching off the heater, we'll finally get to zero and shutting off the whole machine. We've got a pilot light here, so when it's switched on, that light's there. Right, and then finally we've got programs. It's quite basic in its programs. Um, you've got... Uh, it's quite stiff as well after the drying cycle. So when you start drying here, it will advance one to in between and then it gets quite stiff. So it's quite hard to let pre-wash. Um, so you've got auto pre-wash um, and then white. So it does pre-wash at 40 and then will advance and do the 95 degree white cycle. And then you got 95 degree whites. 
60 degree colour fast cottons, 40 degree non colour fast cottons. All of these have a max load of. We don't know. <laughs> uh, we don't know. Um, we. Um, looking at the drum size, uh, we're probably thinking it's either 4.1 or 4.5 kilogram. Just like a hot point, um, and likewise drying will be 2.3 kilograms. And it does three rinses with intermediate spins. And then a final spin here, which is very long. It is, it's actually about 15 minutes long. Um, it does burst or spin rather than a, a, a full, like, long spin. But... On the final stage of the final spin, it will spin at its max speed for about five minutes, which actually equates to really, really, really dry clothes. And then finally, we've got the drying program here. Slash stop. It will stop at the drying program. Um, and if you select drying, it will advance one again to do drying. Um, it says here 40 to 60 minutes, though. When I did a natural load, it did get hot, but it didn't dry in properly. Like it, it, I put it on for like 75 minutes and just didn't finish drying them. So, but anyway, max load of that is about 2.3 kilograms. <clears throat> yeah, this is really, really stiff after drying. Really stiff. Anyway, I just do one. Wow. Um, right, synthetic side. We've got nylon poly cotton at 50 degrees. Then we've got acrylics slash woolens at 40 degrees. Um, acrylics you can dry, woolens you can't. Um, it's giving you suggested times there. It is very, very low heat. Very, very low. It didn't manage to dry my bedding in time. You know, put it on for like 80 minutes. And we've got three rinses with intermediate spins. Uh, and then we've got a final spin. Uh, it's like a short spin. But it still spins at 1150 RPM. So, that's uh, impressive. And we've got... Drying low heat there, and then after that, we've come to the stop after the drying. It will stop there naturally after the wash. And that's it, that's all your programs. And if you notice, that means you've only got one, two, three, four, five wash programs plus the pre wash. Six wash programs. Yeah, that's all you need, apparently. <laughs> right, another little thing to um, tell you is that this has like rapid advance so basically if you select 95 the whole entire wash program is only to there when it gets to here it will just it that will be the end of the wash cycle but it will advance from there straight to the first rinse basically and it's same with 60 as well it will get to sort of 40 that's its entire wash cycle and it'll advance through 40. It's like the entire wash is programmed into these sections and then it's all blanked off after that. Bit of a weird one. The final spin does click through um, entirely. It's not like you got separate bits to it or anything. So to open the door, you need to first power it on. You'll hear a buzz, a click, and that allows you to open the door. I turn it off, it keeps it locked. Let's turn it off there for a second. So inside we've got our drum. Um, we've got a proper Creeder drum. Though very obviously uh, sort of... It's very like a hot point. Obviously not a hot point anyway, but very I like it. Um, 
And we've got this massive door seal which does catch water here, so just be aware of that when like taking stuff out of the washer after drying it. Um, this drum's actually quite beveled in like this, so it gives you more room to load. So very well thought out. Um, and we have a sticker here. A one seven three three one zero 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 zero. Hmm. Yes. So <clears throat> as you look at it, it looks very hot pointy, and that's because it is sort of very hot pointy. This is the very last model to be made before Hot Point um, took over Creda. So at the bottom here we've got a tab that you can turn and you can then open the door without um, electricity attached. So we've got our detergent drawer here. Um, it's all nicely laid out and it's very clean like finished. Um, I do like this drawer. It looks like we have like an insert here for like a program guide, but obviously all the programs are written out there. Right. Smallest one on this far right is the fabric softener. We have a little max fill indicator at the side here that you can really see. And then we've got two compartments here. Uh, we've got pre-wash and we've got main wash. And it even tells you as well. All right, so we want a half load and fast wash and we'll 40 degrees. Now, Notice how I can like turn that dial um, and it won't switch on. It will now. It's still a push and pull system on the dial, but you do need power on to make it work.
Right. So, to unload, what we want to do is keep that power button on and then push that back in. And then unload. Mm. And we're all done. Right, how am I going to rate this then? I actually uh, absolutely love watching this machine. It's um, a fantastic machine to to use, to own. I'm trying it on a bit of the downer side. It's definitely not as fast as that. That could be just down to age. There might be, but other than, or it could be just me just like putting too much in, slightly. Um, wash results though are always impeccable. You know, washing is good, rinse is brilliant. Uh, by the second rinse, it's normally all clear anyway. And the final spin, because it is a long and a fast spin, you ain't gonna get results like that from any other machine from this age, from this era. What do we rate it out of 10 then? Well, it gets um, 9 out of 10. I don't, you know, there, I, there is a fault with it, where it's leaking, but that's to do with age. But, if you were to get this brand new back in 1989, um, you would have been quite impressed with it, even looking back then. There was a little bit of a odd case of, like, this is like an upper, lower hot point. What I mean by that is, obviously hot point kind of owned Creed at this point, but they still have a Creed drum. Um, but all the dials are very hot pointy. The switch gear um, isn't. It's kind of weird. But what I do like about it is the fact that you can have a fast wash which will take 55 minutes on the 60 degree cycle, 45, 50 minutes on 40 degree cycle, which is the same as a normal hot point 95 of the time. But if you actually want actual wash results, you don't select it and it only takes about 80 minutes. Not the quickest then, but definitely then gives actual decent wash results. And the only other problem is obviously the lacking of programs, or said programs. Um, like, Acrylics Iron Wool is the same program. Bit of a weird one, that. But then, you can always use Slow Spin and Crease Care and all that to kind of adjust it whether you want to wash acrylics or woolens. So, plenty of options. The fast wash really is really good. Hoffa doesn't really seem to do anything as well, such. But this is really, really impressive, the electronic door lock. I know, I know, service had electronic door locks as well. But it's a bit more intuitive as well with this. Like, I like the fact that you've still got to power it on and then pull out the dial, which is really good. This becomes almost like an emergency stop, actually. So you, this can power it on, and if you hit that, it turns it off like a normal timer dial, but at least you can turn it whilst it's actually switched on, let's say, and turn the dial with the door open, because it won't engage. Not that you're going to do that. I have had there's arrows here to tell you to get around, so... Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's, uh, even though it's got a few odd little problems and here and there, Certainly for its time, this is quite sort of behind and far ahead all at the same time. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.